Have you ever wondered how AI models like Dali, McJourney, Nano Banana, Sora on Vio can take a simple text prompt like a photorealistic astronaut riding a horse on Mars and turn that into a stunning high quality image or even a video? The magic behind many of these incredible AI art and video generators is this powerful form of generative AI called diffusion models. But before we dive into how we generate images, we first need to understand the basics. Now, how does machine learning work? Machine learning learns from data. To teach a model to recognize a cat, we don't write rules for whiskers or fur. We show it thousands of labeled photos and the model adjusts its internal parameters. These are called weights until it can correctly identify a cat on its own. When we analyze any machine learning system, we look at a few key things. For our cat classifier, the input is an image. The technique is training a neural network. And the output is a single word cat. But with image generation, the output isn't just one word. It's a million pixel masterpiece. How is that possible? Well, the answer is a brilliant method called conditional diffusion, which is built on four key ideas. Now, the first idea solves a huge problem, data. To generate a high quality image, you would need a massive data set where every single pixel is labeled. That is impossible. So diffusion models use a trick called self-supervised denoising. It's very simple. The model creates its own training data it takes a clean image, intentionally adds a little bit of noise to it, and then trains itself to remove that noise. The noisy image is the input, and the original clean image is the output. Because it learns to clean or denoise an image, it's called denoising autoencoder. Now, no human labeling is needed in this case. So, what kind of neural network is powerful enough to do this complex denoising? Most diffusion models use a special architecture called a unit. The unit gets its name from distinctive U shape. On the left side, the encoder takes the noisy image and shrinks it down, capturing the high level contextual information, the what of the image. On the right hand side, the decoder takes this compressed information and starts to upsample it, rebuilding the image back to its original size. But here's the unit's secret weapon skip connections. These are the direct links from the encoder to the decoder. They feed the fine grained details that were lost during compression directly to reconstruction process. Now this is how the model creates such sharp detailed images by precisely understanding both the what and the where. This powerful unit structure is the workhorse of our denoising autoencoders. Now let's look at the next key idea progressive generation. Now, instead of removing all the noise in one giant leap, the model does it in hundreds of small manageable steps. So to generate a new image, we start with pure random noise and ask the unit to denoise it just a tiny bit. Then we take that slightly less noisy image and feed it back in, asking it to denoise again and again and again. Now, this is incredible, but it just generates a random face from its training data. How do we control what it creates? Well, that brings us to our next idea, text conditioning. Now, instead of just feeding the unit a noisy image, we give it a second input, which is our text prompt. The text is converted into a numerical format that the model can understand. Now, the UNET's goal isn't just to denoise the image, but to denoise it in a way that steers the final result towards matching the text description. Now, when we run our progressive generation starting from pure noise, the text conditions every single step of the denoising process, guiding that chaos into a coherent image that matches our prompt. Now, we have our image. But to get those stunning photorealistic details, modern models use one final trick 
super resolution. The process we just described often creates a smaller, low resolution image because it's computationally easier. A second specialized AI model then takes this low resolution image and intelligently scales it up. It doesn't just make the pixels bigger, it adds new plausible details, sharpens the texture, and refines lighting to create a fine high resolution masterpiece. And that's it. By combining self-supervised denoising, the powerful unit architecture, progressive generation, text conditioning, and super resolution diffusion models can turn a simple sentence into a work of art. If you like this video, you will like the video on building a career in AI engineering. Check it out and I'll see you there.